Hello everybody and welcome back to another Coaster Cheetah video and in this video I have made a list of what I believe to be the um, top 5 best prototype roller coasters in the world and yeah, these so. coasters will be what I think to be very important for the company that it is associated to in the park but also how it um, actually is, how good the coaster is, and how it actually has affected um, coasters. So today. let's get into the list by going over the first um, coaster. And by the way, this is in, in no specific order. So yeah, let's get into it with Maverick at Cedar Point. And I believe this is a very, very important coaster. Not only is it a spectacular ride, but also it was the first ever Intamin LSM a multi-launch coaster and this is just such a great coaster model and is still being used for greatness today this is still one of the best lsm coasters multi-launch coasters blitz coasters whatever you want to call them by intamin and yeah these coasters are still just extremely popular maverick is still extremely popular it is um still some people's favorite rides at cedar point and yeah, this just did wonders for Cedar Point because it ended the Coaster Wars because it proved that you did not have to have a record-breaking coaster to um, be the a good one. So, yeah, I just believe Maverick really kick-started into men's, um, you know, LSM coaster, multi-launch coaster, um, like, trend that they had going, and it was just a really influential coaster in the uh, coaster space. Now, moving on to our second coaster, we have New Texas Giant, and not only is this a great coaster but it also did wonders for Six Flags Over Texas and it also did wonders for of course RMC as it was their first ever coaster by themselves and it proved to be <clears throat> a great idea and it also saved the you know the legacies of a lot of wooden coasters and it turned them into some of the best coasters on the planet and I honestly believe that there's not a single bad RMC out there and I just really think that this was definitely one of the most important coasters in terms of, you know, the, I mean, RMC without RMC, so many wooden roller coasters would have never been transformed and they would have just been turned into, I mean, scrapped and uh, made into completely different coasters in their areas. So yeah, it's just really this, I mean, RMC just really um, came out. Uh, swigging when they brought out the iBox coaster model and um, for their first ever coaster it is definitely incredible that New Texas Giant is this good. Now for our next coaster we have Millennium Force at Cedar Point and it was very bold of in Intamin to come out and design this coaster for Hershey Park <clears throat> and it still has the um, legacy it did when it opened back in 2000. And it is still such a great coaster, and it definitely holds up against the other coasters at Cedar Point. It's like the third or fourth best there, in my opinion. And yeah, this coaster just, I mean, Intamin really just designed a great coaster for the time. And even though it does get some hate, and, um, you know, I mean, every coaster does, but Millennium Force, I just really think, is a great coaster. And it was a great first Giga coaster, and... Yeah, definitely a very cool idea from Intamin and Cedar Point to collaborate and make this an incredible coaster that um, that's legacy has now lasted and will last forever. Now for our next coaster, we have Formula Energylandia, and this is a Vacoma. And the reason why I chose this coaster, I could have chosen a lot of other Vacomas that are better coaster models because all of the next gen Vacoma coaster models um, are all good. And I they should be on this list. However, I went for I went with Formula here, because it was the first next gen Vacoma, um, and it was really just it it really let everybody know that Vacoma was here, and they are back with you know, a new vengeance a new vengeance here because this coaster just really proved that Vacoma like actually could build good coasters, and this was only the beginning. This is a great ride, I've heard. However, um, apparently a lot of their other coasters are better, and yeah, that's just really, I mean, this this coaster I, I really find to be so important because it was Vacoma's first next-gen thrill coaster, and it is proving to still hold up, um, you know, even though Vacoma has a lot of other new coasters now, but, I mean, Vacoma has such good coasters, and it all started with Formula at Energylandia. Now for our next coaster, we have Apollo's Chariot at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And this was the first B&M Hypercoaster. And honestly, 
you know, this is really when people start to realize that B&M meant business and that they really were going to start designing some incredible coasters. Um, and yeah, Apollo's Chariot was great for the time in 1999. This was the first B&M hypercoaster. And a lot of companies, you know, were not getting into the space and B&M really went um, at it and designed a great hypercoaster and then went on to design Raging Bull right after. And this was B&M's prototype hypercoaster. And it, I mean, where this coaster model is now with the Gigas now too is just phenomenal and how good this company has gotten over the years, and it all really, you know, formed up, and, you know, made B&M big with Apollo's Chariot here, and, yeah, I mean, they're definitely continuing to make some great coasters, and B&M just really, um, I feel like, like, solidified themselves with this hypercoaster and Apollo's Chariot, and it also, you know, gave, um, I think, uh, Busch Gardens Williamsburg kind of an upper hand over King's Dominion at the time, because they, you know, are having their little little coaster war in Virginia, and yeah, this coaster just really helped Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and really just helped b and in the coaster scene. So yeah, guys, that was my list of the top five favorite, or I mean most important, or best prototypes, and um, what I believe to be in the coaster market. So yeah, guys, comment down below if you agree with these prototypes and my opinions, and also comment down below what you think are the best prototype coasters, and I hope to see you on the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>